gonna do here, will you, man? Come on. Good boy, well done. How do I get up? Hello YouTube, my name's Sarah, welcome to my channel, or if you're one of the nine people that watched my last video, welcome back. I know that sounds really facetious, but I'm actually really impressed that nine whole people chose to uh, click on my last video and watch, if not all of it, then just a little bit. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, today, as I, as I mentioned in my last video, I am getting my first tattoo. I can't believe that I have reached this point in my life and I do not yet have a tattoo. I've got lots of piercings, but yes, today is the day. But before that, I you will have seen that I took my mum's dog Pablo for a nice, if not muddy walk. I've actually just come back from a massage as well. It sounds like a really bougie thing, but I have a lot of back problems. So it's a, a chiropractic massage, so not quite as relaxing. As means of a life update, I think I'm feeling, I've been trying my best to stick to my routines that I talked about in my last video. I'm still struggling to exercise. I went to yoga on, on Saturday morning, which made me feel really good. And I've still been keeping up and walks every single day, but I've not been to the gym and I've not been running as much. And it's this weird like barrier that's stopping me. Like I feel, I feel like I can't. It's like when I break a habit, I find it so difficult to get back into the habit, but I know that when I go back, I will feel so good and I will be like, why did I not do this? So I am, yeah, mentally and emotionally largely feeling a lot better compared to last time. So I'm in my garden, as you can see, I'm going to give you a quick tour around my garden and then I will take you with me to my tattoo appointment. My backyard, as tiny as it is, is my absolute pride and joy. I spend so much time out here in the summer and even now, um, mid-March, I'm already hanging out out here. So I try and make it super tropical. I guess kind of a little bit of Mediterranean, a little bit Greek. I love palm trees. I have a huge tree fern which was an enormous purchase for me when we first moved in but yeah I just love it and he loves it too Tattoo. I've arrived. I'm early because I always am, and that's who I am as a person. Wow, like the sun is kind of going down in front of me, and the lighting is absolutely beautiful. I wish I could just capture this for photos all the time. I'm feeling a little bit apprehensive rather than nervous. I'm not worried about pain. I've got quite a high pain threshold, but. I may live to regret saying that, who knows. I'm more, it's more about the process and, and just nervous about something that I've never done before, so. 
about to tick something off the bucket list. Don't know how much I'll be able to film when I'm in there, but yeah, it may be the next thing that you see is my brand new tattoo. Oh, can't see it that well. How cute. I am obsessed. And I've got some little fingers too. Little sunshine, little moon. So cute. Uh, it did not hurt at all. Just felt kind of a little bit scratchy. The only ones that hurt a little bit were these teeny tiny little dots on my fingers, which so cute. So yeah, really happy with that. Um, yeah, pumped. People who live in the southwest will be like, whatever, but it's a kite. We don't get kites in the northwest. Just buzzards. Oh man, I've not even warmed up and I've just had to come up this hill. I've been 10 minutes into this run and so far it's been all uphill. I don't know if you can see that. I'm dead already. Whew. I must have reached the top of the hill now. He's gorgeous. Maybe a nice sunset. Here comes a kite. I'm not wearing the shoes for this. Yikes. <laughs> okay, I'm like four kilometers in. The trail's gone really nice. I've got my breath back after the, after the hills and I'm just about settling into this run now. I think some of these might be deer tracks. See where it's like two toes? I wonder if there's deer around on the deer. Amazing. They're all watching me very closely. Oh, they're just grazing now. They're happy with me being here. Wow. Bye. Hello friend. Little Sebastian. It really is so pretty tonight. Sunset's just about to start kicking off over there. I really want to stay out and watch it because it is the spring solstice, but I need to get back to my colleagues and do the deck for tomorrow. Oh, such is life. <laughs> You'll not hear me say this much, but I'm actually glad to be running on some road now. colours. So good. Oh, it's not showing up on camera. It's beautiful. There's such a kerfuffle going on with the crows. I feel like I've walked in on something. Can you hear them? Right, I'm nearly back now. Which means I get to run right the way down that huge hill that I run up to start off with. Also, it's spring solstice. Smells like someone's having a barbecue. Hats off to them. Amazing. Good morning vlog. I realised I've put all those uh, those clips of my run and my hotel room and everything without explaining any of it at all. I am currently in the lovely High Wickham. Um, it's now the next morning and I am all ready to go to a client meeting, uh, which is just down the road. Uh, but yesterday my run was beautiful. Um, it started up going a hill like this. So I was actually gassed to start off with and the terrain was very challenging. It was constantly different, mud, hummus, road, track. So I think it was a bit 
it probably wasn't appropriate for a run but it would have been a really really nice hike so I'll just pop the I got it from Ordnance Survey I'll put the mat here and I'll also share the link in the comments below um had decent sleep I'm in a very glamorous premiere inn and I've just had my breakfast um the deck was all done I mentioned that when I was talking about sunset yesterday uh, we met at seven with my colleagues and everything was looking good so just had some nice dinner came to bed double drops and chamomile tea and zonked out um so i'll see if i can share a little bit from my meeting today because it's a pretty cool client um but other than that i will speak to you later on. Yikes. <laughs> all right i'm heading out to the common on my walk is it a mr deed today no it's not a mr deed today if you want to know what I'm talking about, you're going to have to watch my last video. <laughs> oh my goodness, it is officially magnolia season. I love them so much. Such a glorious flower. Wow, spring's here people. Managed to drag my butt out of the house for Friday night run club. And as you can see, it's daylight. It's a really pretty sky as well, actually. Um, I did have a bit of a nap after work. I was pretty exhausted. Um, but now I'm up, I'm at, um, a little bit cold just to be wearing a t-shirt, but I will 100% warm up because Friday night run club is hills. We do a 5k loop of pretty extreme hill and then down again so yeah I'll definitely warm up but yeah I'm so happy it's light look at that gorgeous sky behind me wow another gorgeous magnolia oh these are my favorite tulips they're like a rose gold <laughs> that was such a strange run for me I really really hard I felt like I wasn't going very fast I felt like I was really out of breath and just under fueled um, even considered just doing the four loops rather than five full loops I normally do managed to do the five in the end but got to the end turns out I'd PB'd the route by three whole minutes or thereabouts so yeah that's probably why it felt so hard tonight funnily enough uh, the best thing about running on a Friday night is that I am so ready for my tea. Um, the Chris stayed at home today, he would normally run with me, but he has ordered the takeaway that should be with me when we get back. Yaki udon and miso soup for Chris. A crispy tofu bowl and salt pepper fries for me. Amazing. Oh my god, battling through the tundra to get to yoga this morning. <laughs> Oh, I've just finished yoga class and I feel well and truly wrung out. I do a mandala vinyasa class, um, which is essentially a vinyasa flow, but you move, you do the same movements and you move around the mat. So sometimes you'll be facing the long side or the back of the room. You do one circuit and then you turn around and go the other way. Totally simplified that, of course. It is a lot more sophisticated than that. But there's just something about it that feels very meditative to me. Knowing what comes next. They do twist, they do mix up a little bit with some kind of pulses and things like that. But knowing what, what's coming next and knowing that I'm kind of moving round and round. So that's my favourite type of yoga. It's not the yoga that makes you feel relaxed. I think it's the, 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 the ringing out of your body and your brain challenging yourself during the yoga and then it's the decompression of you actually start with yin movements and end with yin movements which is kind of static no that sounds too harsh kind of gentle holds 
and then of course the uh Shavashna bleh Shavasana at the end. I still not saying it right. We'll get there in the end. I'm not even gonna try it. Wait, corpse pose at the end. <laughs> so yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling very sweaty. I actually don't look as bad as I normally look after that class. My hair is normally out here and I'm just kind of but but yeah, I feel good. Home for a coffee and some brunch now. I'm very much looking forward to that. Man, the last time we spoke to camera, I was talking about how much I was looking forward to food, wasn't I? I just love food. Love food, what can I say? Day, another walk. I can actually stay out as long as I want today because it's Saturday. But it's very blustery, a little bit wintry. I did panini, creme brulee. All right, so we are wrapping up where we first started out in my little jungle yard. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've had really quite a busy week and it's been difficult to record anything actually when you're with people you feel a little bit embarrassed getting your camera out next week i have quite a normal week it is easter weekend next weekend so i'll probably do something fun on those days get out for a nice hike or something but yeah any any requests let me know I'm really, really grateful to you for watching, uh, liking and subscribing. So please do that again. I'm so, I'm actually really thrilled with myself that I've done this for two weeks in a row now. So the aim is to do it next week as well. And the week after, and the week after, of course. So yeah, I will see you next week.